welcome to Live Lent, God's Story, Our Story, a series of stories, prayers and meditations for the evenings of Lent. Today is Friday the 3rd of March and this evening our theme is The Lost Son. Our opening music tonight, Margaret Ritzer's Silent Surrendered. Draw us, Lord, to yourself by the power of your Spirit. Quieten our hearts and minds as we approach in worship. Hold us in the love of your Son as we follow him through temptation to the cross. Journey with us, Lord. Tonight we seek your face and forsake our empty hours. Tonight we seek you above all things. Cleanse us, Lord, from all that distorts your image in us. In your mercy, forgive us. From all that divides us from one another and from you. In your mercy, forgive us. For our satisfaction with less than the truth. In your mercy, forgive us. For any dishonesty in thought and action. In your mercy, forgive us. For worship that is unworthy of you. In your mercy, forgive us. May the Lord forgive us and grant us peace in our hearts and lead us by the Spirit this night and always. Amen. So we come now to our story the Lost Son, reading from chapter 15 of St. Luke's Gospel. So the son returned home to his father, and while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast For this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Thanks be to God. A lost sheep, a lost coin, and now a lost son. Henri Nouwen writes movingly, about his first encounter with Rembrandt's painting, Return of the Prodigal Son, in a book subtitled, A Story of Homecoming. Nalvin was at a moment of his life when he felt bone tired and alone. As he saw a reproduction of this painting, a poster pinned to a door, what spoke to him was its tenderness. The son has returned, filthy, broken, without any of the wealth his father had given him. Yet there is no lecture from the father, no reluctance to receive and embrace the son. There is just tenderness, acceptance and love. When we come to God as our loving parent and friend, We may be aware of our own poverty and emptiness, yet God receives us with love, with open arms and with tenderness. We are welcomed home. Amen. And now we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Loving God, thank you that you look for us and that you find us and that you welcome us into your family. Thank you that you receive us with open arms. Amen. At this evening hour, may the Christ who walked on wounded feet walk with us on the road. At this evening hour, may the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out our hands to serve. At this evening hour, may the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open our hearts to love. Amen. May the Lord hold you in his loving arms. May he grant you restful sleep and peace in your hearts. May he bless you and keep you safe this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen.